I'm going to show you how to create your own form using Content Manager. The first thing you need to do is click on the plus sign on the left and go under Input. Input will only appear if you have added Content Manager to your site. If you haven't, just hover over and you'll see a button here asking to add Content Manager to your site. Once it's done, you'll see this option, Input. Uh, on my form, what I wanted to have first is a user input text. So I can allow the person to come and add their name, their last name, their email address, and a text message. So I will start with a text input, but I have a different options. I have text box, reach text, radio buttons, checkbox, drop downs, and so on. Let's start with a text input. Just click on it and grab and drop into your site. And now you can change the settings and add a title for it. I'm going to add first name. While set, change the settings of your input field, you can also determine if it's, it will be a required field or not. I want to know the person's first name, so I will keep the required. But I'm going to add a second one now. And this is the second field that I input field that I have. I'm going to change the settings and I'm going to add last name. But on this case, I really don't need to know the, the last name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and uncheck the box required. So it means that when, once the person is filling out the form, they don't need to fill out this form unless they want. And then you can also see here that I can add a text input and text box. Let me add a text box for a, my message. So now I want the person that's contacting me to write me a message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings and I'm going to write, write your message. Done. I'm also going to keep it as required because I really want to get their message. And the last field I'm going to add is an email field. Email field, we use a text input as well. Let me show you the difference between them. I'm just going to add here a text field and then I will change the settings type to be email. Add a title. And once the person comes to my site, they will have to type a valid email address, which contains at Gmail or at Hotmail or any other company. So my form is completed, but I st I'm still missing a submit button. Submit button is really important. Otherwise, your inf the information, your site visitor, add to input won't be saved. So I just add a, just a regular button. And I can actually change the name of the button by double clicking on it and writing submit. Done, my submit button is ready. Now what I need is a collection to save this information. I have a form, now I need a collection, a place where I can actually keep this information. So I would come here to Content Manager and I have here already one form, one collection called forms. I'm going to open it. And I have four fields that I have added. First name, last name, email, and messages. Uh, now that I have those four fields, all of them are text fields. You need to make sure they match with the input field that you have. So I can click on it, edit, and I'll see the field type here. I have images, galleries, boolean, numbers. I'm going to keep as text. And done. Now I need to link my input fields to my collection so it knows exactly where to save the information. So I can just click on the first name, click on connect to data, and it will ask me to create a data set. Data set is the bridge that connects this form to that collection. Okay, so I'm just gonna click create, create data set, choose a collection which is forms I have already created, and I'm going to call it forms data set. Again, data set is just a bridge that will connect my form to my collection. Now I can click on create and choose the value. My value will be the first name because I'm working with the first user input. So first name, done. I can I need to do exactly the same thing for all the other ones and make sure they are all connected to the same data set. If you have multiple data set in one page, you need to double check and make sure that all of them are connected to the, the correct one. And here I'm going to choose last name. Now the email, I'm going to choose the email and my text box, I'm going to choose message. And the last one is the submit button. I need to connect my submit button to the same data set and choose the option, click action connect to submit. Once you choose this option, you have here 
add a successful message and add failure message. I'm going to add both of them and keep them here. Now that we have created our forms and connected everything, there are two things you need to double check to make sure your form will work as you expect. It is those are very common problems that we encounter every day. And if you go over them, it might solve the problem that you're having with your form. First is the forms data set settings. So the data set um, that I'm working here is just to save the information for my form into my collection. So I only need the mode to be write only. If I was planning to display the information from my collection on my website, I would use the option read only, but this is not the case. Now I just want to collect information. So I'm going to use write only, and you can see here, submit content to a collection. Perfect. Once you have done that, there is just one last thing you need to check. Go to content manager, find your collection here, and click on the three dots and permissions and privacy. You need to determine what is this collection for. In this case, I just want to have this collection to collect information from my site visitors. If you see here, I have a few different types, different options on the top. If I click on it, I have public, form submission, custom, and so on. Public says here that anyone can view the content from my collection. Mm, honestly, I don't want people to see anything from my collection. I just want to collect data. Let's see who can add content to the collection. Just the admin. I don't think this option is going to work for me. So I'm going to change it to form submissions. Form submissions give me already the, the proper setup. See, now anyone can add content to my collection and only the admin can view the content. So I think I have the correct one and I'm going to save it. Once I have saved it, I can publish my site and try the form on the live site. Here, I'm going to go to my forms types and I want to add test name, test last name, the email address, te test at gmail.com and test message. And I'll submit. I got a message saying that my content was submitted, which is great. Now again, I can come back to my editor and see if the information was saved in my forms collection. I click on it. And here you can see test last name, test name, test Gmail and test message. Okay, so if you have any questions, please write a comment down below and I will reply to them as soon as I can.